Okay, we are ready to talk about building a professional voice studio right in your own home. It is a great time to be alive <laughs> because this used to cost many thousands of dollars just to get started. And now most of what you need, you already have lying around the house. So how can you beat that? <laughs> so let's jump right in to what we need as far as hardware for your studio. All right, the first thing you're going to need is a computer. If you're watching me on one right now, you are already ahead of the game. <laughs> it doesn't matter what operating system you choose. This works equally well if you prefer to use a Mac or a PC. The only specific thing your computer must have is a USB port that you can plug into directly. You can't use a USB hub because it can water down the recording. The USB connection must go directly into your computer. The other essential thing for your computer is that it needs to not have any fan noise. This will create white noise in the background of your recordings, and they will get rejected. Now, there are ways around this. If you have a desktop with a fan where you can hear it in any way, you can get longer cords and place it just outside the room you're recording in. Just getting cords can be much cheaper than buying a whole new computer. Now, it's harder with laptops because they have to be in the room with you. So if you have one with a constantly whirring fan, you may have to get a new one for this to work for you. I personally use a MacBook Pro because it's small and the fan rarely comes on, so it's perfect for the times I'm recording. But there are lots of cheaper options if you do need to break down and get a new computer. But just keep those two things in mind, USB direct port and no fan noise. The next thing you're going to need is a good microphone. This will make or break you as far as whether you sound like you know what you're doing. Now, most appropriate professional microphones cost over $1,000. That is a lot of money to spend to try something, right? So there is one inexpensive mic that you can get that sounds amazing and at the moment is only $149. It's from Audio-Technica, and it's called the AT2020 USB Plus. This is the best professional-sounding mic you can get for the money. In fact, it's what I'm using right now and what I always use. <laughs> Some people think that um, cheaper options that are really popular, like the Snowball and the Yeti, are good options. But unfortunately, those and all other cheap microphones have an audible hiss that shows up underneath all of your recordings, and it will cause them to get rejected. Now, the AT2020 has all the correct internal hardware to keep it from having that hiss, and therefore sounds like a $1,000 piece of equipment for a fraction of the price. If you do have the money to spend on a very expensive microphone, then lucky you. <laughs> but I recommend that everyone use the AT2020 USB Plus because it's practical and inexpensive and all you'll ever really need. <laughs> now, do not get the cheaper version of the AT2020 you may see for around $99. With the XLR cable, you won't be able to connect it properly to your computer. You need the USB version. It literally plugs right into the USB port on your computer and you're good to go. You'll also want to make sure you get the USB Plus version of the mic because the Plus version has a headphone jack so that you can listen to yourself as you record, just like the professionals do to hear exactly how you sound as it's happening live. It's a great microphone. <laughs> now, the AT2020 USB Plus, well, that is a mouthful every time, it comes with a small wobbly stand that can make the mic fall over pretty easily. So I recommend that you get a better microphone desk stand. You can get one for about $13, so not too bad. You should combine it with a shock mount so that any little movement you naturally do while recording isn't picked up. Shock mounts will run you about $22. But these two items will make your recording experience immeasurably better and more convenient. You next need headphones to listen to yourself as you record. And there's no special kind you need to make yourself more professional. It's whatever you prefer to wear. Earbuds work great because they naturally provide an intimate sound since they're right in your ears. I prefer these slight noise reducing headphones that I wear, but that's just because earbuds tend to hurt my ears. <laughs> so what, what I'm getting at is whatever you have just laying around your house is probably good enough. So 
Can't beat the price as far as that's concerned, right? <laughs> oh, and speaking of free items, the next thing you're going to need is a pop filter for your microphone. Now, if you don't know, a pop filter is something that goes in front of the mic to keep certain sounds, known as plosives, from sounding too strange on the recording. Particularly the letter P sound can be too harsh when you're using a professional mic that picks up every little detail of the sounds you make. Now, they sell lots of different pop filters. In fact, I think one may even come with the AT2020 when you buy it. But I have never found any pop filter to work better than a plain old ordinary sock. I know it sounds weird, but it allows you to get the most comfortable distance from the mic for an intimate read and keeps your plosives to a minimum. As you can see, I have a simple Hanes sock right over my microphone here. It's making noise as I remove it, right? So uh, you see how the mic picks up everything? It's a good mic, right? So you can see um, the mic actually glows a blue color to show that it's connected and working, but my, my sock pop filter is usually covering that up. So, so unless you are an ultimate hipster who refuses to be around socks, then you already have a great pop filter already lying around your house. So absolutely free. I love it. <laughs> All right, the final piece of your studio is going to be some form of sound deadening. Now, sound deadening is how you keep your voice from reverberating off hard surfaces so it doesn't bounce back and make your recording unclean. It's different from soundproofing, which removes almost all extraneous noise, but sound deadening is the most important. It's how you're going to sound professional without having to spend thousands for a sound studio. Now, this room that I'm in right now is called a whisper room, and it's about 50% soundproof, which is so helpful to me because I literally live right next to a train. It's awful. But it is 100% sound deadening because of this egg crate material stuff that's on all of the walls and also the carpet material that's on the walls as well. Now, the key to sound deadening is to have an uneven soft surface surrounding your microphone so that it's harder for sound to bounce off of. Soft, uneven surfaces absorb the sound. Hard, flat surfaces make the sound bounce back and you're hearing everything more than once. It's really messy. Now, you don't have to get a large booth like mine right away. In fact, you should start easy and know that a room in your house should already do the trick for free. I'm talking about your closet. Closets with clothes are awesome because they're a small area with lots of soft, uneven surfaces. If you can set up your studio in a closet, you have a great sound space where you can't beat the price. Now, working under your covers in your bed provides the same great sound qualities, but this might get hotter much faster. It gets hot under covers, you know? But again, it's free. Now, it might be hard for some people to set up in their closets, so there are smaller, less expensive devices that I've seen professional voiceover friends use, like the Chaotica Eyeball and the Porta Booth. I'll put links to them on the Voicework Academy website so you can decide what's best for you and your budget. The most important thing is to get the cleanest sound environment that you can, and it will set you apart from the amateurs. I promise. All right, so after we gather all the hardware pieces we need to get started, let's talk about the software we need to capture everything properly. <laughs> 